25% of patients with low back pain suffer as a result of sacroiliac joint-related problems. Pain of the SI joint is an unappreciated problem that often simulates conditions associated with the lower back, spine, and hip. Patients experiencing low back pain can spend months or even years in treatment without the correct diagnosis. Diagnostic injection of the sacroiliac joint is the only means to confirm diagnosis. Symptoms of sacroiliac joint dysfunction include low back pain, buttock and thigh pain, and difficulty and discomfort while sitting. The lumbar spine is connected to the sacrum. The sacrum is connected to the pelvic bones through the sacroiliac joints. The SI joints are weight-bearing joints which distribute weight from the spine to the lower extremities through the hip joints. The most important ligaments of the SI joint are the strong posterior SI ligaments. The piriformis muscle is attached to the trochanter of the hip. The sciatic nerve lies in front of the piriformis muscle. Piriformis syndrome can occur when the piriformis muscle irritates the sciatic nerve. This pain is often worsened by sitting or climbing stairs. Conditions that simulate sacroiliac joint pain are primarily associated with the hip and spine. Conditions of the hip include trochanteric bursitis and piriformis syndrome. Conditions associated with the spine include myofascial pain, lumbosacral disc herniation or bulge, and lumbosacral facet syndrome. SI joint pain is usually underdiagnosed and can be mistaken for other causes of low back pain. The Faber test is helpful but not specific in determining the presence of SI joint problems. The patient should be lying supine on the examination table with the leg of the affected side externally rotated and abducted. The foot should be placed onto the opposite knee. Press down gently but firmly on the flexed knee and the opposite anterior superior iliac crest. Pain in the sacroiliac area indicates a problem with the sacroiliac joints. Clinical examination and radiological studies are usually not reliable in the diagnosis of SI joint problems. Most sacroiliac joint pain is due to mechanical dysfunction. Normally there will be slight microscopic movement of the joint of only a few degrees. Movement of the joint increases with wear or injury to the ligaments of the joint. The patient should be checked to determine if a leg length discrepancy exists. The best method to diagnose if the pain is of SI joint origin is by administering an injection. If the patient shows improvement, the pain can then be attributed to the sacroiliac joint. Treatment of SI joint pain includes anti-inflammatory medication, physiotherapy and chiropractic manipulation, SI joint brace, steroid injection, radiofrequency ablation, and SI joint stabilization or fusion.